Welcome back, beer tubers. Today we're taking a look at the latest in Bell's Planet series of beers, and this is Saturn, a barrel aged barley wine, 11.5%. Uh, I haven't been paying attention to the series. Uh, most of the beers haven't really interested me, but a bourbon barrel aged barley wine, yeah, I'm gonna check that one out. So, uh, picked up a single of this one and got it poured out already. A little bit of a light tan head on there. Not the prettiest looking beer. It's maybe slightly on the lighter side of the style. Kind of gets into uh, orange, burnt orange kind of color. There's almost a reddish tinge to it, but not quite. So let's get the aroma on it. Definitely get some alcohol, some oak, a lot of oak tannin. A little bit of like a vanilla and toasted coconut, some caramel notes. Slight burnt toffee edge as well. Some, some breadiness as well, so. Yeah, it smells like a big beer, that's for sure. Let's dig in, cheers. Yeah, lots of big um, sweeter bread notes, uh, big caramel notes, kind of expect from the style. I don't know if I'm getting a little bit of a hop character in there or not. It's hard to tell if the hops are kind of blending in with the uh, the oak tannins. Uh, it's got a big oak tannin on tannic finish uh, to the beer. It reminds me of some of those just uh, straight New American oak aged beers from Hair of the Dog. So you kind of get that oak tannin character. There is some vanilla and toasted coconut, but you definitely get more of a raw wood character to the beer. There's definitely some cherry in there. Uh, it's got like a fruitcake character going for it as well. Uh, marmalade fruitiness to it. Um, doesn't quite go dark fruits like some barley wines will. It definitely keeps it on the lighter, more kind of stone fruit-esque, but not quite. Uh, like I said, more like a fruitcake, uh, caramel. There's a slight kind of like borderline burnt toffee character in there as well. And then some cherry notes, which could be coming from the malt or a pleasant oxidation character from the barrel aging. Um, it's uh, I'm not getting a lot of actual like bourbon character. I, I'm getting barrel character, but not getting bourbon. So um, I don't know if they're blending different. Uh, well, they've probably been aging the beer in the barrel a certain amount of time, but the way they've blended it, maybe they're having uh, different uh, use barrels. Like maybe they're not all second use, i.e. first time they used it type of, you know, uh, barrels. Uh, so it's uh, kind of mid-range, I would say, for a, a barrel-aged barley wine. There's definitely a lot of better ones out there. And of course there's worse ones as well. So it's, it's, it's a solid beer worth trying. Um, just doesn't quite get up to that elite bourbon barrel barley wine status. That, um, there's plenty of those beers out there. So. Uh, yeah, Bell's uh, Saturn. Happy to get Bell's here in San Diego and cool to try this beer. So, thanks for watching. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.